Hey guys, welcome to Juicy Tea, where I read out the best stories on Reddit so you don't have to. The funny, shocking, and satisfyingly juicy. Today's video is Who's in the Wrong Wednesday? Where you get to decide who's right and who's wrong. Am I the asshole for asking my stepmother to stop walking around the house naked? Posted by Reese, 88. I, 17 female, live every other week with each of my parents and so does my sister. My dad has two new kids with his fiance, seven male and five male. I've never really liked my stepmother. I have sensory issues that were way worse when I was younger, but she'd still force me to eat certain things or do certain tasks. She and I just don't match at all. She's just an overall annoying person. Our house has two showers, one on the ground floor and one in the basement. I hate the basement because I'm super scared of the dark from past traumas. She moved all of my soaps and shampoos to that shower because they smell bad. You get the point. To my issue, she has a habit of every morning walking downstairs, my bedroom is the only one downstairs, to the kitchen and bathroom naked or just wearing underpants. This makes me feel just weird and uncomfortable as I don't want to see her that way. I get it, she's at home, but she could put on a shirt or a bra or anything. She also does this after she showers. Today, I'd had enough of it, so when she came down the stairs, I asked her, could you please put on some clothes before coming downstairs? I was eating breakfast and I don't need to see a 40 year old flashing her boobs like four feet from my food. She got angry and told me to stop being disrespectful. She was then rude to me for the rest of the day, forgetting to set my place at the dinner table and accidentally stomping outside my room at 11pm. Am I the a-hole? Edit. Many of you are saying this is targeted and abuse. It's not targeted, it's what she always does, it's part of her routine. I just think she could bother to cover up at least a little. Call CPS or the police? This isn't that big of a deal. Really. Sometimes Reddit blows things way out of proportion. And for those who told me to get that, y'all are disgusting. Um, are we sure it's not illegal? Isn't exposing yourself to minors illegal? Particularly parental figures exposing themselves to their minor dependents. OP is 17 years old, and who knows how young her sister is. This all just sounds very illegal. Am I the a-hole for wanting the master bedroom in my own house? Posted by Efficient Ad 1205. My husband, 26 male, and I, 26 female, recently got married and purchased a home last Friday. We've been together for quite some time and have a strong romantic bond with each other. We've always had each other's backs and supported one another's choices. Although recently, we've come to a disagreement that feels unsolvable. For context, we've lived together in a trailer for about three years. My husband's mum asked if she could move in with us. Previously, she was staying with another one of her sons. The reason she had to leave was because her son, my brother-in-law, wanted to move in his new fiancé and stepchildren. Without hesitation, I said yes and even had to persuade my husband to let her move in. At the time, all I could think about is if that was my mother asking for a place to stay, I would say yes in a heartbeat. Eventually, she moved in and it's been pleasant having her around. She got one side of the trailer where her room was right next to the bathroom. Since it was just the three of us, it became her bathroom. This fact never bothered me as we always had our own private bathroom in our own room. When she first moved in, her form of contribution towards the rent was paying for groceries. My husband and I never expected anything from her, as she was family, so we never cared to collect anything from her. We were just happy to be the ones to help her with having a place to stay. As time went on, she started asking for things that I didn't really agree with, considering that she was living with us for free. I want to clarify that I never expected anything from her, as it was a kind gesture of ours to invite her into our home. Although, I find it odd that she's comfortable enough to ask us to pay for her living expenses. My mother-in-law doesn't work and won't work. I'm not sure as to the reason why, but it appears she's always been that way. She began by asking my husband to help pay for cat litter and food, since our two cats have been using her cat's food and litter. 
When I found this out, I went out of my way and bought a big bag of cat food that we could all use. She then told me that she only uses one specific brand of cat food and litter and refuses to use the cat food I purchased. This left me uncomfortable. How's the cat feel about it? Does the cat refuse to eat the food you bought? Or is this just her issue? I've moved past it and now my husband gives her money from time to time for the cat expenses. Last year, my husband and I decided we want to buy our first home and settle down. We worked hard and saved up our money for a house. We wanted our families to move in with us so we needed space for our two mothers and my one younger brother. We began searching and going to showings, but every time we'd go to a showing, my mother-in-law would always seek out the master bedroom and say, This is my room! This left me uneasy and I told my husband about it, but nothing was ever done about her assumption of getting the master bedroom. My mother-in-law does have bathroom issues, and sometimes she can't hold her bowel movements, causing her to run to the bathroom at random times. Presently, I'm about 6 months pregnant. We closed on our house last Friday, and since then, it's been an emotional roller coaster. A moment I thought we'd be excited and thrilled about has been turned to an anxious, depressing event. My mother-in-law grew upset with the idea of having to move, and instead wanted to stay in the trailer for a few more days so that she could visit her other son one last time before she moved. I wouldn't have minded, but it would have costed us another few months rent for her to stay there a few extra days. Couldn't she just stay in an Airbnb for a few nights? Surely that's cheaper. Along with this, the commute from our house to her son's house was about an hour's drive. She only wanted to stay in the trailer out of convenience since it was about a 25 minute drive from there. My mother-in-law grew upset with me. She was anxious and annoyed the whole move. We had tension built up in the house already. I'm very sensitive to people around me, so this just made me feel even worse about the whole master bedroom situation. We moved in, and she immediately took all her stuff to the master bedroom without even asking if this was okay. Granted, we never said anything during the showing, and I did go along with it as I'm a people pleaser. But now that we've moved in, I've realised that our room seems smaller than hers, and we don't get a bathroom, where she does have her own private bathroom. I've made this point to my husband a few times, but he claims that he likes our room and says that our room is actually a foot bigger than hers. Either way, I'm still bothered that she gets the master bedroom. At this point, I don't really know what I want anymore. I'm uncomfortable in my own home. I know we just moved in and I'm sure my feelings will heal over time, although I feel like we're being taken advantage of and I feel like I'm being set aside. My husband seems to prioritise his mother over me and my needs. As I'm pregnant, I have to pee almost every hour. I need advice on this. I don't know if it's just me overthinking or being hormonal, but at this point, I don't even want to go home anymore, knowing that I don't even get to choose what room I get to live in. Am I the a-hole for wanting to be a priority over his mother? Uh, <laughs> the owners of the house should get first dibs on the rooms, and her husband should have his partner's back. Especially with her being pregnant. God, the entitlement of this woman. Isn't free rent enough? Am I the a-hole for refusing to let my surrogate keep our baby after she changed her mind? Posted by Deleted. I, 33 male, find myself in a very difficult situation with my surrogate, Maria, 25 female. And I'm wondering if I'm the jerk in this situation. For context, my husband, Roman, 37 male, and I decide to use a surrogate to have a child. We have a legal agreement in place, and Maria was compensated generously for her part in carrying our baby. Everything was going smoothly, and we were excited for our child's arrival. However, around the eighth month of pregnancy, Maria dropped a bombshell. She declared that she no longer wanted to go through the surrogacy, and expressed her desire to keep the child. This sent Roman into a fit of anger, but I managed to get him to step out and had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Maria. I reminded her that she had legally signed the documents and the baby was unequivocally ours, mine and Roman's. She began pleading with me, but I stood my ground, asserting that this child was my son and not hers. She tried to bargain, saying she no longer wanted the money, but I firmly rejected her request, emphasizing that no one had coerced her into signing those papers, 
Whether she liked it or not, the baby was ours. To add some financial weight to my argument, I pointed out all the money we'd invested in the baby and the substantial amount she'd received before the pregnancy. I made it clear, if she wanted the baby, she'd have to reimburse us for all of that, something that I knew she couldn't afford. I suggested that if she had any more issues, she should speak to my lawyers, but as far as I was concerned, the baby was ours, mine and Roman's, whether she liked it or not. Maria called us cruel and even got her family involved to support her case. Now I'm doubting whether I'm in the wrong here. Roman supports my stance, but some of my friends and her family are calling me the a-hole. So Reddit, am I the a-hole here? Edit. For clarification, she hasn't pursued legal action at all. This was just a talk she had with us. Edit 2. We live in California, where traditional surrogacy is allowed, as well as pre-birth and after-birth agreement. We have a pre-birth agreement and by law, the baby is ours and she knows it. She's asking if we would give up our rights to her to have the baby, which we won't. The baby is mine and my husband's, and there hasn't been any pursuit of legal action. She can now only talk through my lawyers. Since Maria is the biological mother of the child, this sounds more like a pre-birth adoption than a surrogacy. I feel bad for her, especially as we don't know the full circumstances, i.e. her age, any family pressures, etc. OP says she wasn't coerced, but that's only his side. This kind of reminds me of that story about the father pressuring his 17-year-old daughter to be the surrogate for his mate. I'll put the link in the description. From a legal standpoint, OP clearly has lawyer funds and she doesn't, so it sounds like OP may win this case. Although, down in the comments someone did mention that in California, even with the contract, OP can't force her to give up parental rights as the bio mum. As to whether he's the a-hole or not, well, sounds like his friends and family, who have more details than us, have decided that he's the a-hole. Personally to me, his writing came off as cruel and nasty, and this is him trying to sound like the good guy. Side note, if Roman flies into fits of rage that easily, then maybe he shouldn't be a father? Remember, I post new content every day, so subscribe for more juicy tea.